finish up losing the third place if they can't turn a win against Whitehaven today or Batley with the face next week. London facing the toughest challenge for Featherston at home this afternoon. Halifax will kick off with Cooper. Well, take the first run of the match. Um, number five, Andrew Bullman. Fair uh, pass, McNally. McNally. Aldrin Weiser. You can tell by his uh, grey hair that his part's now. He looks the same as his uh, beautiful McNally who scored a hat trick on his debut on Sky Sports over ten years ago. Tom Wilson makes it 6-0 uh, with a try and a conversion. Nolly Fats the ball, great to Kavanagh. Kavanagh almost take by a, a common throw by uh, Moss up then. Fairbank gets it to Murray, Murray to Woodburn all chances Garside. Throws the dummy, gets it out to Conor McGrath and McGrath. Unable to get round Walms with a set Halifax are within 10 metres of Whitehaven line. Keeping the ball moving, gas high to Moore, Moore to Grit. Down the back, Salt the Stall joining the line, Worthington. Gets it out one handed to McComb and McComb. Scored from a similar position last week at Featherston, but they're not giving him the room this time, but he's still fighting for his Zach McComb. Whitehaven defence unable to put him down because that brought enough for the Whitehaven defence inside. Gets dumped on his back in front of the post, front of the right and upright. Last tackle again, Brandon Moore. Griggs kicks through into the in goal area and warns him to let that one run out of play. Brandon Moore looks right, drops his shoulder, turns back inside, left trying to catch it. Blue the defenders but not finding any. Finding Phillips, Tangata, turns ball and whereas Griggs kicks through. Puts pressure on the full back. Uh, McNally has to run out of play, it'll be a drop out under the post. Halifax looking to uh, exert their pressure on the white table line. And they're calling defenders across to that right hand side. Assault and Stall steps inside and they barber just gets there. Half a metre too late. <laughs> that from Dummy Half held up over the line is the call from the referee. So Halifax will come back to the 10 metre line, Matt Garside unable to force his way over and get the ball down. <laughs> and the Moore to Woodburn Hall looking again at this left hand defence. They're trying to put pressure on and Bullman picks the ball up there's a posse of Halifax defenders chasing up forcing Bullman towards that dead ball line catching him in goal again it'll be another drop out so Halifax will retain possession unable to do anything with it so far McNally with the drop would burn all underneath it Tangata Screaming forward pass again. They don't mind the tackle from Dangata. There's no stop complaining and cheering. Oh, well, Griggs finds a gap. Griggs has to step. Griggs has support and doesn't need it because he's going to go through what had to be a tiny defence on the third set of six that they were defending. Griggs is pushing away from the last defender. Off the speed. 
fourth drop out, three sets of six back to back. Ed Barber put the ball over while Halifax had problems with kicking. Previously, Connor Robinson wasn't playing well, he's sat on the bench today. But Ed Barber will try. Put the ball over from the touch line. Well, it's a good effort from Barber, and he's found the target perfectly as a Barber. <laughs> Two Halifax defenders on the far side. <laughs> This is in the referee, didn't he? he? Must have been giving it one of his touch judges. Cooper put down five metres out from the Halifax line, maybe just a little bit more. Now he moves into half back. Williams looking for half back back and Shufre. Shufre gets it out wide, good marking by McGrath. Warms left. There's a chance on that far side again, but put down short of the line by the Halifax defence. And another penalty for interference with the play of the ball. Three metres away. Bounces Wilkinson to Williams. McNally in the line. And Jason Mossop. Defenders round him, and Halifax must have thought they'd done enough to hold him up. Inside the left hand, upright. Obviously, I had to get some attention to his right arm, a stone left. Short ball, Wilkinson brought down last tackle. Halifax needs to be alert on this one. Jufre kicks through, McNally's chasing. Well, Rich managed to clear the line. Warnsley took a... Uh, McNally rather took a bang to the head in the collision. Referee saw nothing. The league will look like both players challenging for the ball. So plays it quickly. Wants Williams to move the ball across the field. Jufre turns up quickly and Bullman. Dragged down by Worthington and Griggs, five metres out from the Halifax line, back to Shufre, Dion, i.e. the uh, BMG International, stepping out of the tackle, he's been here a few years, right in the Everly strap, but it doesn't seem to be hampering his uh, progress there, Halifax defence stopping eventually, and look, to the outside, Halifax trying to force the ball out of play, and they do so. Well, James is almost all the round two or three players on that side of drink tonight after they've uh, managed to repel that Whitehaven attack. <laughs> Worthington tries to get up and play the ball. Morris <laughs> drive it forward and still still going forward as Morris still eventually a third man joining in the tackle. And Morris falls. Brandon Moore. Connor Davis, Griggs decides to go up to the air. And Halifax are there to bring take the catcher back into the in goal area so they'll get possession back. We get the pink of this game with 37 minutes gone in the first half. A little time remaining, but Halifax will uh, hope they can do something to uh, cut that lead before half time. Brandon Moore. To Greek Woodburn all out to Salt and Stall. Salt and Stall gets it to Conor McGrath. Conor McGrath comes inside and then drops a shoulder and tries to barge his way through to Whitehaven defenders. Quick play the ball. Leroya to Griggs and Griggs out to Morris. Morris gets away from the first, but Dion Ayes there. 
to hit the tackle. Brandon Moore too. The way he flew onto the ball. Well, the working defence is good and solid from my team and so far. Trying the left hand side again. Drips to Obstruction and he ran the back of the man, which gives him right to even another penalty. Well, it's uh, getting a little bit uh, ill tempered. I think down by the White Haven fans who are trying to swear the decision of the referee in the last minute of the first half. We'll see justice there because when you look at the replay of that, see the clever kick from Geoffrey managed to regather it, but the facts looked at least half a yard forward from where I'm sat. Halifax made meters out towards that white haven try line. Bricks looking for runners. Finds Woodburn Hall, Woodburn Hall to Salton still, trying to put Barber in the gap, but Barber eventually rushed it to the ground. It's Phillips that stops it again, and it was a gas eye kicking through this time. But, well, again, not in the script, but it's forced an error. Switch to the left hand side. Ryan King goes back inside, driving towards the line. Will it be worth it? at one point or so early? Only seven minutes in the second half. Geoffrey looks for runners. Finds Williams. Williams gets it away. It's out to the winger. And Halifax defend the line again. PND International. Looking for way down that right, right hand side, and now they're calling for it over here. But Phillips goes one way, then the other. Williams tries to go on his own, and then he's all to the ground. Last tackle. Williams claiming the penalty. Jufrey looking at the cross field kick. to 16 points to 6 and if this from Waldley goes over which goes, now we're in Bobwell territory for White Haven I think he's there and Halifax has finally introduced Connor Robinson into this game Salton Stahl still not able to find a way through away goes Robinson a positive direct run from Robinson. But then all goes on his own. Last tackle. Well, if that's got anything to unlock this white table defence, Tangata finally gets the ball down. And the try has been given. Try hasn't been given. Dion A, he was surely running the Halifax line. McNally. Yeah! And a drop goal. Like it could have finished up there. A bit worse than it did, Tangata gets the ball away to Wood Bernal, takes on the Whitehaven defence on his own, now Wood Bernal's beating then. Up to the 40 metre line. Which will kick over the top in the last effort, Ryan King will take the tackle. performance like that is uh, totally dominated this afternoon.
afternoon in the first half of Wolves in the second half. Halifax has only scored this afternoon, the only try from Scott Rich for the kick from Barber. So it's at half time, McGrath's failure to deal with a kick and he falls inside of Ryan, uh, Ryan King. And he's kicked down for the try, well, the converted. 18 points to 6, it got a bit tense but Halifax were never going to get to the, never looked like they were going to score as uh, Whitehaven just kept him out. For the whole of the second half Halifax remained scoreless. McNally inevitably stepped up to kick a drop goal to make worthy Whitehaven worthy winners this afternoon at the uh, LEL Arena. Final scores, Whitehaven 19, Halifax 6.